So we're in at the back door here again you can see the almond almond vert threshold. So as I said this single door 900 meter wide is around 30 35 pound for a small piece of almond vert. It comes in sheets and you just slice off what you need. So moving in here to the utility room and first detail you'll see is our air tighten detail around the windows and also around the doors. So you have our varus seal, the plasterable sort of furry tape. And then we have our canizo, which is basically for tealing up, uh, taping up joints and uh, any sort of holes. And then you have the canizo SL, which basically means there's a wee 10 mil slit, which you put 10 mil in the window and 50 mil on the, the reveals. So you can see we've taped all around that and stops all the drafts. Seal it all around, fully around the window. And then this here being plasterboard, you can just plaster over it. Uh, plasterboard and then hides all, all your taping. Also at the bottom here you can see our Yala stuff. So it's called Vara Fluid. Basically it is a paint on air tightness membrane. So there's a massive leak in your floors between your wall and your subfloor. And there'll be a lot of cold comes up through that corner. So what we do is we run around that with a paintbrush and the Vara Fluid and see that jab, jab, that uh, wee gap all the way around. So you can see here, there would normally be a wee gap there, so we seal all that up. And it's a very brilliant product to have for, um, anyone can fit it, just as long as you know how to use a paintbrush and you just put it into all the wee awkward corners so you can see it there. And more air tightness around the door. The other detail then, which is quite important that a lot of people don't do, is this house here decided to use precast slabs. So if you imagine where your precast slab goes into your wall, every single one of them, there's an end to get in every single time. And if they've got open holes at the far end, that's cold coming in from your cavity. It travels right across your slab all the way to wherever it stops. And then you've got lots of nice wee cold air tunnels filling your ceiling space with lots of freezing cold air and also losing all your heat. So what we do here is called slab wrap detail. So you basically have a piece of membrane on the wall, goes through the wall, up the back of the slab, back out across the top of the slab, and then appears back upstairs again. So kind of kind of like a square shape, if you like. And that basically then gets taped at the bottom here, you can see. Uh, that's the tape there. And then it gets taped again at the top, which we'll see later on. So again, most of these are the same details, very easy to do. So you can see we've fully airtighted around this window and these windows and the slab wrap details continue through the wall right around all the perimeter walls which is cavities don't really need to do it on the inside and all the way through here so again airtighten around there ceiling around the joint of the subfloor to the wall and also we do in around the Upstands, which would be for like say uh, soil vent pipe or something like that, so we seal them around there, stop those gaps. Into the hall of the stairs, so again, tipping around here, and you can see the window membrane wrapped around the slab wrap detail all the way around here, and the VARA fluid continuing, and back into here, and on through to here. And this is an important detail too. So we would do is a, like a stud wall for your bathrooms. It stops, normally speaking, they would be cored into the wall or dig out a big hole or whatever. And then that gets very leaky. So we start it out and that stops any drafts or any leaks from the, the room to outside for all your bathroom fittings. Move on into the kitchen then, the hall. So this is the front door you seen earlier on the Almaverd. And then you come into here. So you can see there's lots of scaffolding, so it's hard to see, but this is our sliding door that was on the apex window. You can see here, if I stand back. Okay, so this is the back of the Almavert. Uh, what we've done is we've taped it all up. So it's got taped along the top. This is some of our air tightness membrane. You tape it to the floor, you tape it to the wall, and then you tape your door all the way in again. This here would be all the wee hooks that uh, fixings for your doors, so we tape every one of them. This here would be even like a screw hole for screwing on the plywood, so we tape those. Back up to here, then you have a steel lintel, and in this case, 
this door was in two parts so top part was apex bottom part is the uh, the door and uh, they wanted to put this on with a sleeve but it's not very airtight to join the two so we tape the two together to stop any drafts there and then that'll be covered over with a piece of like black aluminium or, or pvc you can see here then the some of the membrane protruding out which is wrapping in a uh, airtight um, heat recovery ventilation duct box that comes out there and this is with the stud wall as well and um, builds all this out and we have a couple of sliding doors so basically the airtightest membrane goes in behind your roof you can see up here and similar detail here, that's the back of the big massive four meter slider. And you get to here, so you can see, basically the membrane starts up at the top. You can see all the tape there on the joints. That's our isoperm plus is the membrane we use for slope sealants. And uh, it goes down, the follows the slope of the rafters all the way down to meets the wall. You tape at the wall with your plasterable tape and the non plasterable tape for doing all your joints. That's a... Uh, MVHR duct sticking out, you can see there, and again tape around that. And then we have this service batten 2x2, two two, and in this case with an R bit of 2x1 two on top, that's for all your electrics. And basically, you follow that detail all around the roof, do all your primers. The steel that we have up here is for, for structural reasons. Uh, we would also paint around that, it's not done yet, but we would paint around that with our Val Vara Fluid product as well because you get a lot of leaks in around where the steel meets the mortar when it dries out. So we do that as well. And again, all they're in here. So move into, this is like a wee pantry, which is part of the flat roof area. And you can see here, um, where they are tightness membrane. And again, sealed up all the way around.